Important warning. This instruction should not be used without consulting the appropriate manual. Take caution when using and maintaining the machine. Watch out for hot surfaces. In this video, we show you how to set volumes for shots and hot water on the Mirage. You will need the stainless steel filter holder, freshly ground coffee, two shot glasses and a teacup of your choice. Please note that during the programming phase of a group that the other groups including hot water remain disabled. You can program four different volume doses on a touchpad and two volumes on a bastone. Before we start, it is important to note that the latest programmed volumes of the left-hand group are copied to the other groups. So if you want different volumes on each group, start by programming the left-hand group and then program the others. Volumes should be programmed just as if you are making a normal brew with freshly ground coffee and a short flush prior to brew. To enter the programming mode, keep the upper button of the left hand touchpad or the push button of the left hand bastone handle pressed until the lamps of all groups start flashing. This takes approximately 4 seconds. You can now program the lower four buttons of any touchpad or both switch options on any bastone handle. Now work quickly because after five seconds the machine automatically exits the programming mode. Start with a quick flush by pressing the button on the touchpad or the lever on a bastone. Press again to end the flush and then lock in the prepared filter holder and press the fourth button on the left touchpad or the bastone lever to activate the group for programming the dose. Note that on a touchpad the light on the selected dosage button will light up or on a bastone the selected bastone lever will light up continuously and note that the upper lamps of all touchpads will also be lit. Remember that if you follow this procedure on the left group the other groups will have the same adjustment. Use the shot glasses to check when the desired volume for the selected dose is reached. Press the button or lever briefly again to stop the brew. Wait until the indicator lights dim after about 5 seconds before touching any button or lever and the volume just used will be programmed into the main controller. You can then restart the entire process for the next volume to be programmed. Programming the hot water timer is similar to programming the coffee volumes. Keep the upper button of the left hand touchpad or the button of the left hand bastone pressed until the lamps of all groups start flashing. Briefly press the hot water button to start water flow. Press again briefly when the desired amount of hot water is reached. For the hot water, the controller actually stores the time between activation and deactivation of the hot water spout rather than the actual volume. Finally, when your machine is equipped with a foot activated steam valve, preset the steam pressure using the black knobs. You are now ready to pull shots.